I told y'all it's coming back though, for real. But today's topic is, nah, but for real though, today's topic is um, me coming out as transgender to my mother. Uh, woo, dad, y'all, that that's that's kind of heavy. But before I get into that, we in my kitchen. I'm gonna tell y'all why we in my kitchen because family drama normally comes out at the dinner table or in the kitchen while preparing dinner. And since y'all family, we're going to bring the family drum out. All right. Let me tell y'all about my old lady. Now, nah, but for real though, let me tell y'all about my mama. Oh, before I, let me, let me tell y'all, before I say this, I love my mother. I love my mom to death. And I know for a fact that she loves me. I know this. I know this man. Anyway, um, May 2020. Dang, 20, man, 2020 was like the year of like being free, like revealing things, like just getting the burden off your shoulders or whatever. 2020 like really, really opened up my eyes. I don't know if it ain't, if it opened up anybody else's eyes, but it definitely opened up mine. Um, it made me more like, it, it woke up my spiritual God, you know, spiritual guidance in my life. It just, it just, it flourished me, actually. Uh, yeah, a lot of people may see 2020 as bad, but I, I, I saw it as a time to um, reconstruct. And that's what I did on reconstruct. Anyway, May 2020, I met a young gentleman by the name of Brian. Um, he is trans as well. Uh, but he's not as, he's not as far as I am in the process. So he came and he asked me questions. And at the time, I had no facial hair. Um, all I had was these gone. And these had been gone um, not quite a year yet. Uh, my, my top surgery actually was 2020 December, which that was my anniversary date. But anyway, um, so needless to say, he asked me questions and things like that. And then he was like, do your mom know? And I'm like, nah, she don't know. And he like, wow, like, when you gonna tell her kind of thing? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know when I'm gonna tell this lady, you know? Like, he like, well, you need to tell her. I'm like, I I'm not telling her. I'm not telling her. Like, I'm not telling that crazy lady that, like, why you trying to get me killed? You don't even know me yet. You trying, you trying to get me killed. Anyway, he said he gonna tell his mom. So I need to tell man. I'm like, this dude is crazy. Um, before I, before I get into, like, my mom, I want to tell y'all, she's, uh, spiritual, and I know you guys are like, oh, yeah, spiritual means free. It does mean free, um, but she's raised on a Catholic background, so you guys take what y'all want to take with that information. Um, anyway, so I told my lady, and I was like, yeah, I met this dude, and whatever the case may be, he's real cool, or whatever the case, you know, he's a real smooth gentleman, or whatever, um, He's not as far as I am in my transition, and he wants me to tell my mom because he's telling his. And we laughed about it or whatever the case may be, and she was like, well, eventually you want to tell her. Eventually you need to tell her because how you going to flip my world upside down and you can't even flip your own? And I'm like, what? I'm not about to tell her, like, y'all, I'm about to push me to tell this lady this. You know what I'm saying? You know, and she's like, well, you know, you're going to go around my family looking like that with your features getting strong but you can't even go around your own like i'm about to get ready to twist my world upside down and i was like dang she's right and i sat back for a minute and i was like no nah, i'm not i'm not i can't i cannot because i don't want this lady coming from chicago all the way down here to Vegas, just kick my door in I, I don't need that in my life right now i just don't but then i was like damn i just moved she don't know where i live at i'm about to tell her so my way of telling her was that I um, wrote a letter. And at first the letter was supposed to get mailed, but me being so thirsty, because I'm thirsty, 
I um, emailed it instead and I sent it via Facebook. Y'all, let alone this long. Um, so I sent it. And then it missed the internet. I blocked my grandma. I blocked um, my auntie, my sister, my other sister, my uncles, my cousins. You know what? I'm like, I didn't block them. I deactivated my page. I deactivated my page because I didn't want them to feel any kind of way if, if I did block them. Um, so I just deactivated my page or whatever the case may be. Um, I kept my line of communication open for my niece because I love my niece, you know. Um, and she's of age where she can kind of like understand things. Um, and my little sister at the time because she had already knew that I was transgender. So I sent the letter. And me being me, I kept going back to check. Even even deactivate the page. I just kept going back checking to see if my mom had got my letter. Or should I say my message? She did it. So I was still kind of like on pins and needles. Like even though I had already wrote it and told her, I put like a lot of heartfelt things up in there that I know like this is me. I'm still alive. I'm not nowhere dead. Um, I'm still the same OG. You feel me? But no, for real though, I was like, you, you know, even though you feel like you're losing the daughter, you're gaining the son, you got the same child. Um, it's just that now I got to start living for me. I got to start being free. I got to start being able to look at myself and knowing that I'm living. Um, so anyway, she didn't, she didn't, um, she had, she didn't get my message. So what I did was I had talked to my little sister. Now she kind of messy, y'all. Y'all would be her though. Um, but I love her. She, uh, I told her, I said, yep, I wrote mama a letter. I told her, I told her what I am. She like, what? You know, so, cause, cause we know how my mama is, you know. Um, she like, what? You told her? Or whatever the case may be. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, but she didn't get the message. Maybe about a good 10 minutes later, after I had got off the phone with my sister, I got a private call. Cause remember I told you I blocked my mom because I didn't want her to, um, have an impulse reaction or say some things that she probably couldn't take back because my mom, my mom is not like that though y'all like for real for real like she's she's like a no nonsense person she's very sweet um you can go to her if you need anything you need to talk you can go to her you know um but give and take that i'm her child and not understanding what i'm going through of course she ain't gonna have a good reaction or as i thought um so, I still went to talking to her. I still didn't answer the phone for her, but I was still speaking to my niece. Um, I told my niece, like, don't let them know that I'm talking to you. And when I say them, I meant my mom and my older sister. I said, because I don't want them to say that you can't talk to me. And she's like, okay. So, then one day I happened to call my niece and she was around her mother. And I was like, shh, shh, shh. And my sister popped her head in the phone and was like, I ain't mad at you. She was like, I was a little bit because I'm losing my sister, you know. She was like, but, you know, I'm okay. And she's like, what you want me to call you? And I'm like, I'm your brother. My niece was like, oh, I ain't even asked you what you want me to call you. I said, I'm your uncle, you know? So it was like, we were cool, you know? That situation was cool in my head. I was them like, what's going on with my mom? My sister was like, well, in the beginning she was mad. She ain't that mad no more as she was before. But, you know, she like, she'd come around. Everything could be all right. And she's like, the crazy part is, I knew you were changing. She like, because I spoke to you on the phone via Facebook. And she's like, and your face, your face was a little swollen. It was a little different. She's like, something told me something was going on. This is my sister tennis to me. So I'm like, yeah, you know. So we, we joked about that or whatever the case may be. So eventually I got around to like speaking to my mom. Um, and we didn't necessarily talk about me being transgender. Um, it was just like we just picked up. And kind of like left, kind of like left off from where we were before I had wrote the letter. Uh, I will say like it wasn't no situation, like so it wasn't a good or bad situation. Um, and my mom was still kind of like getting adjusted to it and things like that. Um, and I and I understand why sometimes I get a little upset when things don't go as fast as I want them to go. Like I want people tomorrow to be like, yep, yeah, sir, yep, yeah, boy, yeah, him, yeah, you know. But it ain't gonna work like that because for thirty plus years I've been this woman, or I should say, this stud. Um, so now to get everybody uh, acclimated, I would say to who I knew me, and that it takes time. And I kind of like got to respect that, you know. 
Um, but yeah, so every day we still talk. Uh, we even get on FaceTime. At first, it was just like a situation where, like, when I started growing my facial hair, yeah, y'all, this man. But no, when I started growing my facial hair, I would, like, get on the phone with my mom, and I would have the phone like this. Like, I wouldn't let her see my features changing because I was afraid of what she may say or what she may think. So recently, I got to where I'm able to look at her like this when I'm speaking to her. One, because I do owe her that respect. And number two, I'm going to be free in my body um, because I'm not doing causing nobody no harm. Um, and I want my mom to know that, like, this is this is me. You know, love all of me. Uh, so we speak every day. We still don't really talk about me being transgender. Well, actually, we spoke one time about, she said, if you do change your name, you should have changed it to this. And I was like, oh, man. Like, and it was a cool name. It was a cool dude name. It really was. And I was like, damn, I'm going to miss the opportunity to um, kind of rename me, which was sad because um, my, my mom is a person that one minute she can accept it or I'm not going to really say accept it. She can respect it. And the next minute, I guess she'd be on the fence about it. But, you know, that's what parents do. They kind of like, you know, one minute they okay and the next minute they ain't. And we, as their children, got to kind of, like, understand that. And that's where I'm kind of at with it. I kind of, like, try to understand it a little bit. Um, because I love my mama, you know. Um, I don't know about y'all, but I need my mama. Uh, so, my coming out story to tell my, to tell you guys, at least it wasn't as bad, but it wasn't as good either. is because we still don't kind of talk about it. And... It's like it's, it's it's like it's happening, you know. Like this is real. Like my name is changed. I don't have no breasts. Like I have facial hair. Uh, my gender will be changed pretty soon whenever Illinois decides to send me my birth certificate. Like these things is happening, y'all. So eventually, I guess we will really, really probably sit down and talk about it. But we really haven't. Um, I haven't really sat down and talked to my grandmother, but she knows. I haven't really sat down and talked to my aunt. She knows, like, the only people I really sat down and I spoke with really, really about my transitioning was my baby sister, my big sister, my niece, my best friend, um, shout out to Boo, um, my sister Chris, uh, my sister Kara, my partner, my, my child, because we do have a child, um, my partner family knows, uh, shout out to my mom-in-law, um, so it's situations where like, you know, yeah, my mom know now. And now I'm kinda like at the at the point of my life where my mama know that what I am, I don't care about nobody else. Like I don't give a care I don't care about what nobody else thinks, because now my mama know. And I guess that's like with anything, you know, if my mama say, if I be like my mom tired of this job, this job, this job, she tell me to quit, guess what, y'all? Excuse me, I'm giving you a um resignation letter. My mom said it's okay. <laughs> nah, but for real though, when your mom is okay with anything or when your mom is okay with the situation, then you don't really care about who, who not. But I want to tell everybody out there who is experiencing um, trying to tell your parents who you are and what you identify as, is that make sure you do it in a safe space. Make sure your environment is safe or make sure that once you tell them um, that you can either escape the space if it's not safe for you, um, or um, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of say hold off. Honestly, if, if you're not in safe space, I'll, I'll say hold off. But if you do have the opportunity to and you need guidance on how to tell them or you need a little support, I'm here. I'm here. Uh, I don't mind answering my DMs. I don't mind I'm not responding to comments and things like that. So, um, like, comment, subscribe, hit me up. I'm here. Um, I got a lot of energy to pass out. So, you know, once again, be you, be free. Never apologize for what I talk to y'all next time.